Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, April 25th, 2024. And we've got a big sell-off happening here after the data that came in this morning. The initial jobless claims. And the uh, market didn't like it, moved down even further. Also, we have some earnings in play that most of you probably know. Meta's down big time. So those things mean market sell-off, I guess. So Dow's down 500, NASDAQ down over 300, S&P down over, 68, over 67, down 68. So I have to see how the market reacts. These days always make me a little nervous because of uh, delta neutral iron condors don't take well to big moves in either direction. <clears throat> so we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. So hopefully, I mean, I wouldn't mind for it just to all just to stay low and just chop down at where it is right now. That's ideal, but we'll see. Morning, Vic, Yo Yoga Delic, El Piero, Bumblebee Ken. We'll see one of, guess we'll see one of two things happen. <laughs> Market will either bounce <clears throat> today or, or go lower. VIX, uh, VIX up um, six and a half percent. Yep, six and a half percent. Fix is at 17. Bell is wrong. <clears throat> Meta earnings start open up down over 70. Apple starts out in the green. Airbnb is green. Walmart, Intel is green. Morning Disco, morning MRP. Dow down 470. S&P down 67. NASDAQ down 340.
Meta down 15.5%. Let's see, earnings today... See who's got earnings today. Roku, Google, Goog, Microsoft, Snapchat, Intel. So those are some of the main ones. We get our second bar here in about 30 seconds. S&P coming down, Dow coming down, NASDAQ down a little from, from the open there. Well, let's see what kind of volume we get here. We did have stocks turning in some green bars, quite a few of them, actually. So looking for volume bars as big or bigger than the first. And in the same direction as the first. VIX still going up. Yeah, let's see, how, how wide would the iron condors be right now? I guess not, not that wide compared to what I thought. About 70 points. See, Boeing get, is getting a growing volume bar. A 
Other than that, not much volume. Boeing here just to watch it. I don't know if it'll get there or not. Today we trade the one DTE, one day in expiration. Holy wide bid ask. Going is wide, wider than normal. Does not look like Boeing is going to get there. And Boeing didn't quite get there. It was close, though. So we'll look for some mighty 90s. NASDAQ isn't going too far out of the gates here. It's kind of consolidating, and uh, S&P didn't move much in that last five minutes. The Dow, down 600. So the Dow has moved more than the S&P and NASDAQ since opened. VIX still going up, up to 17.24. Yeah, I'd like to get a mighty 90 short today. Tesla charging upward. A lot of stair stepping down in volume, unfortunately. That doesn't really lend itself to a trade for these strategies when you're just stair stepping down.
So we'll just be patient. <clears throat> Tesla's a ripping. Coming off earnings. Yep. I'll have to see if they give us a mighty 90 or a volume runner. They could potentially get a mighty 90. And also, honestly, I mean, there's, well, 45 seconds left. It's not going to be a volume runner. Like Nvidia a little bit better when it comes to a mighty 90, but man, that's it's getting pretty close to being as big as the first, but I think it's, it's gonna stay with a mighty 90. Although I would like to have this first sort of the second bar be a little smaller. It's the only thing. All right, I'll take a chance on an NVIDIA Mighty 90 on the 810 puts. Let's see if it pushes up here a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's moving around quite a bit. Yeah, and I was thinking about NVIDIA here. I, I think I'm going to pass on NVIDIA. I mean, it's just, it's too big. It's moving too much. I'm going to pass on NVIDIA. The size is just, I don't want to take the risk for the size. Yeah, it appears strong. Tesla, I would much rather do. It's a little, again, not, not a perfect Mighty 90 by any stretch of the imagination, but if it pushes back up to highs a day, I would probably get short. And I probably would trade the 160, um, the 165 puts. And Netflix just took off. Yeah, NVIDIA would have been a winner probably, but man, it was bouncing around. Didn't take much of a move to make the price move a dollar. Again, those are big moves. That's a 15-point move up on that third bar in NVIDIA. All right, I'm going to jump in some Tesla here. Build at 305. Wow. Right after I got in, it pushed up. Let's see. 
check Zoom. Yeah, I mean, I don't really trade Zoom, though, so I wouldn't worry too much about Zoom. It's just strikes are just too, bid ask is too wide. Yeah, that's why I was looking at getting it into Bumblebee was uh, NVIDIA Mighty 90 short. Oh, I need to put in an order in Tesla. Build at 365 to close half. Yeah, I got more than 10% because I got busy checking Zoom. And didn't put the order in, so it worked that time. So really, 365 is 20%. So essentially, I should be out more than half. Yeah, Tesla was quick. Sometimes I get I get distracted. I don't put the order in right away, and it goes down, touches the, my what would have been my ten percent, and it bounces, and then it never goes back, and I missed it. <laughs> Not the case here. All right, so there's one red bar in Tesla. Let's see if we can get one more push down. Anything else? Goog with a little mighty 90, but it needs to push back up. Tesla and NVIDIA both trying to fire back up. I should maybe try to get out of some more when I could have. Technically, I should be out of one more contract than I am right now, so not that big a deal, I guess. Because I would have had 335 would have been my first 10% and then 365 would have I would have gotten rid of a quarter. Yeah, definitely definitely like the quick quick profit ones for sure. It was just kind of struggling to push up so I back up to highs so I so I just decided to jump in. Sometimes that pays off and sometimes it'll you know, you guys have seen it. It'll push up, go against me, and you guys can get a better fill. Dow down 660. NASDAQ down 303. S&P coming down through lows. What's we got? Goog's got earnings, so I wouldn't be interested in that. And NVIDIA looks like it wants to keep going up. Tesla is now above where I got in, aren't it? Pushes back up. It may, may add back in. 
Yeah, it could be. Could be. I don't usually take continuation runners this early. But it could be could be setting up for that. I think Netflix Netflix taking off. I guess I should feel kind of lucky that Tesla is not. Not seeing any other mighty dangers or runners, volume runners anyway. NASDAQ's been coming up a little bit since it opened. Guess that'll explain the big pushes in NVIDIA and Netflix. Yeah, so glad I didn't get in that mighty 90 in NVIDIA. That would be a painful one. I remember what happened last time. <clears throat> Those moves are bigger than what you think. You know, those are five-point moves. All right, no two consecutive bars in Tesla yet. Yeah, that's what got me last time I traded NVIDIA, and then I remembered that when I was looking at price action. <clears throat> it's crazy how quickly you could put a five-point move on NVIDIA. I got an order at 390 to close another Tesla. Yeah, I should probably get out of one here. I think it filled at 380. Just because 365 should have been my next out. So let's see if I can get out of three get out of one at three eighty. Not sure what's gotten into Netflix today, but no red Netflix at all. Filled at 380, close a quarter of Tesla. Not many, not many opportunities. I even had to kind of, the Tesla one was kind of iffy. S&P came down through lows of day. It's trying to pop up a little bit. I 
VIX now up almost 9%. And NVIDIA would have been a wild ride. Push up, push down. You can kind of see like Netflix, man, it's strong, but it's the volume just gives us nothing. Same thing with Boeing, Microsoft, Apple. I mean, it's just nothing. So looks like Netflix is going to spit out another red bar for us. I'm going to close another, oh man, Tesla pop, I thought it was going to come down some more. I got an order to close another at uh, 4.05. Or I guess let's go... Filled it, uh, filled it 405. I was going to change it, and get a little bit more out of that one, but I didn't. I got filled before I could do that. Uh, Chris, Chetty, dude. Um, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, we get some consolidation today. Hopefully, it pushes down the lows and then just consolidates the whole time. Kind of like the update we had a couple of days ago. After a big push up, it just kind of was a slow trending upward. Let's see, I got three Teslas left. Looks like we might get our second red bar. Although well, we got plenty of time left. Uh, no medium. 3,000 is my, my medium. That's right, my medium range. Also keep in mind, um, if you're new, this might, might be new to you. Uh, on a day that, for example, where markets are big time down. So when I take a short position... You know, I'm going to go definitely my medium, sometimes even bigger, because I'm going with the market. My medium range has been that, Chris, for probably since the start of the year. 2,500 to 3,500. Small is usually closer to 2,000. Well, 2,500 to 3,500, it's a range. You can't have it just one single number that's all i've always communicated it's been a range yeah but really it's i mean if you go back to my 2023 day trading i mean i've been doing this now since 2020 for two years and i've always it just has continued to grow trading these strategies even way before TLC. And uh, I might have even been back in December. I, up, I upped my 
buying power a little bit. <clears throat> also, when you buy a stock for around $3, it's real easy math to do 10 contracts. Now, if I would have been, <clears throat> been getting short and the market would have been up big today and I was going against it, then I probably would have done eight or six contracts. You know, between 18 and 2,400 right there because I'm going against the market. I mean, that's, but on a day where, that's why I said earlier, right, even before I got in this trade, I was like, I'd love to get a mighty 90 short because it's going to go with the market. PayPal getting a potential mighty 90 long. Yeah, so here, if I got into this PayPal trade, it would probably go a little smaller than what I did in the Tesla trade. Let's put PayPal up here. All right, so for PayPal, let's take a look. And Tesla's going to, looks like it's going to give us a second red bar. It was barely. Ah. Man, PayPal just too cheap. Too cheap for me, so. All right, I'm going to close my Tesla. Filled it four bucks. So nice mighty 90 there. <clears throat> I could have held on maybe and booked some more profits, but that's pretty decent pro pretty decent profit. Didn't want to lose any of them. Boeing with a potential mighty 90. Although the range is pretty tight. NASDAQ hasn't really gone. It pushed up initially, but it's been pretty choppy since. And actually, S&P has really only been in a... What is that? 10-point range or so. 15-point range. After the initial push down. Ah, like a Tesla come down. I uh, should have held on maybe a little bit longer. It's all right. Not seeing much else, man. Slim pickings today. Yeah, yoga delic. <clears throat> um, yeah, I I should have probably held one or two contracts because it's going down and the market's really low. Yeah, I just. It's had a pretty good profit, so I'd booked it. You know, there, there's no wrong answer on that one. You know, you're taking a little bit of risk if you hold on to them because if it, you know, if it does bounce, you know, it's it had a nice push up. So if it was 
continue, you know, you would lose some of your profits, and that's happened before to me. What else we got? Meta trying to push up. Boeing coming down. And NVIDIA is just staying up there. Uh, yeah, actually, Meta can be a mighty 90. I, I mean, I usually don't trade it, the stock after earnings. But yeah, definitely a mighty 90 there. All right, let's uh let's check it out. Matt, I would trade the 435 puts. But it's seven bucks. And I would close half my meta at seven seventy. Tesla pushing back up now. Yeah, it's real close to getting filled on the meta. Another little tick or two down, please. There we go. Fill it seven seventy. I would close another meta at let's put that in right now. Eight forty. I'm at a trend to reverse now. I guess it was a good thing I got out of half. Mm -hmm. 
Vic's coming down. Well, Meta is not I'm a little worried about Meta here just because it's after earnings. I mean, that thing can just be in down as much. That thing can rip for a while. Got out of half and it didn't even give me a red bar. The NASDAQ really pushing up. So it looks like we're getting our, we're still in our initial push up. NASDAQ pushing up. Dow still down 686. Square getting a mighty 90 short, but it's too tight of a range to trade. So, yeah, the thing with Meta, it's after earnings. The day after earnings, you got to be a little more careful because as you know, down as much as it was, it may, you know, it might be have a lot of people buying that dip. So I may bail on this without two red bars. See what this bar does here. If it rolls over, I'll stay. If it looks like it's just going to continue to push up, then I would, I would just close it. Because it could go up another 10 points before it, push, before it has two red bars. Again, things are a little different after earnings. It wasn't after earnings. I would just probably keep it. I keep. I just ride it. So I got two red bars. And that, you know. Also, I probably would have added to it right, right there if it wasn't after earnings. <clears throat> and I, I and I and I even I could, could even after earnings I could add to it, but like I said, you just you just don't know how much it's going to push up. So kind of give it the first half of this bar and then make a. I could call and see if I want to hold longer or just close it. All right, it's been about halfway through and it's starting to turn red, so I'm going to go ahead and hold. <clears throat> Yeah, Boeing Mighty 90 would have been very nice. Some key trying to come up. Yeah, 
Yeah, NVIDIA upside continuation would have paid big time. Wow, look at Tesla. I'm going to go ahead and get out of my meta. Things are pushing too much for me. See if I can get gonna wait here. You know what? We got forty five seconds left. So let's just go ahead and wait. A little risky, but I could see myself closing it out with thirty seconds left and then the start of the next bar it drops ten points. All right, let's see what, what you got, Meta. What are you going to do? Go ahead and just drop down to about 425, Meta. I'm not quite sure what this market's going to do. It's going to try to recuperate or it's got a little bounce up here and then it's going to all roll back over. So, so far, so good on that meta call. Oh, Baidu had a little mighty 90 there. It's already coming down. Well, I don't think I'm going to get any more trades. It's getting close to 930 Central. So I'm going to try to focus on Iron Condors here. I'm going to go ahead and close my meta. It's like it wants to continue to rip. I might, might wait a while on uh, build at 510. So, oh crap, I did the wrong. <laughs> oh no, I didn't. So, I thought I did the wrong strike. That was correct. So, it came down on us. Yeah, it's good out. See, now it's not pushing. So, all right. I will see everybody back for power hour. Have a good one. Peace.